This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday evening, 31st of January. James Spann here. Don't forget we kick off the annual weather tour across the state, Storm Alert 2012. And goodness, what a place to start it in Tuscaloosa. Uh, April 27th, obviously, is the topic. It's going to be pretty powerful. Uh, this year, I've seen the video elements, and I'm telling you, you want to be there. Uh, we'll kick it off at 630 at Central High School on 15th Street. So uh, we hope to see you and many others there. All right, we'll check some of the Skycam shots around the Alpha Skycam network this afternoon. That's the Tuscaloosa Skycam. And how about that sunshine? Everybody up in the 60s around here. There's the East Alabama view coming from Chihaw State Park, south of Anniston, Alabama's highest mountain. The sky mostly cloudy there and a similar sky on the Alabama Gulf Coast down at Gulf Shores. And man, oh man, if you were down there right now, you would own that beach. Nobody out there. All right, water vapor satellite view, kind of a wavy zonal flow across the nation, keeping the cold air trap way up north. And yep, we are mild. Uh, everybody in the 60s, a few 70s down south. Look at Meridian at 73, Montgomery at 71. Uh, Birmingham at 63, we stay mild through the weekend. And around the nation, you just don't see any cold air, at least down here in the lower 48. Now, Alaska is the big exception. They've been below 60, below zero a couple of days in a row. Brutal up there, but hey, we'll take that mild weather all day long. And again, no major storm issues around the nation, just a couple of small issues in the northwest and the northeast, and that is about it. Rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, about one inch here. That would be with the showers we see tomorrow, and then again on Saturday. <laughs> okay, model fans, let's dive in there and take a look. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at noon tomorrow. You can see shortwave energy approaching from the west down below that. A chance of showers tomorrow. And again, the model continues to hint maybe a convective complex near the Gulf Coast, kind of shutting off the good inflow here that would keep rain amounts pretty light maybe a quarter inch or less, and certainly no severe weather. Rain ends tomorrow night, and Thursday we go dry. And by golly, we're going to be pretty mild. In fact, the latest GFS is showing 70 on Thursday, and really the same thing on Friday, the high of 71. Whoa, boy. We'll say a mix of sun and clouds both days, but we note that new storm forming, surface low near Oklahoma City with snow back in the cold air over uh, northwest Kansas up into the uh, northeastern part of Colorado and parts of Nebraska. Saturday, big upper low sets up north of here. And this run looking a little more stormy. It's got a stronger surface low near Cape Girardeau, Missouri, uh, 1,012 millibars with a trailing front. And that would bring some thunder for sure. And again, severe weather, eh, very marginal. Uh, but that would suggest a pretty good chance of showers and storms Saturday afternoon, maybe Saturday night. Now the GFS takes us dry on Sunday and a little cooler with highs going back in the 50s. And the models have been all over the board on this. Uh, we're not going to change anything. We're going to leave a chance of showers in for Sunday at the moment and hold highs in the 60s. And then Monday, the GFS is bone dry. But wait, how about the European wet as could be. I mean, a soaker on Monday. Who do you believe? Well, we probably better side with the European. It's just done better in recent months. Uh, got a pretty good little pop of cold air coming in there from the north. So uh, I think out of respect for this, we're going to mention a, a decent chance of rain, maybe some thunder on Monday. And then Tuesday, that's the GFS. It's dry. European, dry as well. Colder, but the 540 line still north of here. So the cold air stays to the north. We've seen that over and over again this season. All right, let's check the 11th. You know, yesterday at this time, we showed you a really, really cold look with a big trough over the east. Well, the trough is mainly over eastern Canada now, and accordingly, that's very mild. What a difference a day can make in modeling, and that's why it's called the land of voodoo. And the end of the forecast on the 16th, same deal. Zonal flow, the cold air, you know, trapped up north and down below that, kind of mild and showery. And uh, this is the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation Index, and AO up top, and uh, the ensembles mostly keep it on the positive side. Until that flips strongly negative, it's going to be hard to make it cold down here for any length of time. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren 
You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.